I refuse to let my partner's best friend stay with us while she's getting a divorce because it will interfere with our open marriage. My girlfriend Anna 32F, all names changed BTW and I 35M are currently living in a house that I own since before the start of our relationship. Anna's best friend, Catherine 33F, and I never really got along. Partially maybe because we're very different types of people but primarily it's because she doesn't approve of the fact that Anna and I have an open relationship. Ever since Anna disclosed this fact to Catherine, she accused me of cheating and that I pressured Anna into it. Our interactions have gone from frosty to cold. And just to set the record straight it's not cheating. Cheating absolutely exists in open relationships the thresholds are just set through discussion and neither of us ever did anything that's against these agreed upon hard rules ever. Also. Neither one of us pressured the other one we just had a conversation early in our relationship why our previous relationships failed and realized that both of us struggled with relationships getting routine and we weren't ready to mothball the thrill and excitement of meeting and dating new people yet. As we're both not particularly jealous people we decided to try a non-monogamous relationship and it worked well for us ever since. I also already tried explaining this to Catherine once or twice, so from my point of view I did my due diligence to have a good relationship with her but her perception of that might differ. Anyways last week Anna had an unexpected emergency call from Catherine and, as it turns out, she's serving her hubby with divorce papers because he had a secret affair over the last few months. As a good friend does, Anna immediately invited her friend to stay at our place for a few weeks until things are sorted out. Catherine doesn't have family here but we both have beds in our respective home offices and so in her mind it was the perfect solution. When Anna told me about a few minutes after the call, I quickly had to pump the brakes. I'm not going to lie that the idea of having a hostile house guest in my own home isn't unappealing on its own already but that's not even my main reason both Anna and I have friends with benefits secondary partners that occasionally stay over when Anna works night shift or I'm traveling for work and they also visit just for the occasional, platonic movie night or dinner party. Friends with benefits are friends after all. Now. Having Catherine here would mean we'd either have to significantly scale back these relationships for an undetermined length of time or have them over anyways. As I imagine Catherine is probably even less tolerant towards perceived infidelity right now, that would probably just be a shitty to hostile experience for our other partners. Both of these things, to me, sound unfair towards me in our secondary relationships. As we always saw these as real relationships that deserve respect and consideration just as much as our relationship within some increments of prioritization of course. I told Anna that I don't want Catherine living here. Anna pretty much saw my reasoning right away and, given that I own the house, apologized for her rushed invitation and called Catherine to take it back. But since then, the situation has gotten out of hand tbh. Our friends are pretty much split along the lines of it's your house and wow, you put Catherine on the streets just because of your side chicks? And Catherine kicked the conversation up an additional notch by insinuating that I'm trying to isolate Anna from her and just said no because I hate that they are friends. For the record I never had a problem with their friendship, nor did I ever do anything to limit it. Anyways, I'm increasingly starting to wonder if my objection has been worth it in the right call or if it's been unfair towards Catherine. So am I the idiot? Added maybe to clarify. Catherine has never been outwardly aggressive or offensive against me. It's always been insinuations and probably gossip. Now for the comments. Commenter 1 Why are other people so involved in your relationship with your wife? Original poster Why are other people involved? because Catherine looped in additional friends against my R will. Catherine is an adult she is able to resolve her own problems yeah, I'd love to do that, but I'd feel much more comfortable if this situation is resolved or at least pacified, too. We disclosed our relationship status on basically a need to know basis and my worry is that Catherine might actually make it known to people that don't know yet if she continues and this keeps spiraling. But that's a separate dilemma. Commenter 2 not the idiot it should have been discussed with you prior to offering, but Anna seems pretty rational and course corrected. There are plenty of ways for Anna to support Catherine other than to bring this person into your home that judges you and does not accept your relationship. Your objection is worth it as it sounds like if Catherine moves in for a term she will serve to cause you problems and frustration. Original poster given how much she's already managing to do that from the outside, inviting her in is basically out of the question at this point. My ideas for extending the olive branch would have been apologizing. Maybe trying to find an apartment or a very short stay. Commander 3 not the idiot and Catherine's reaction is all the proof you needed to keep her out of your house. Also, you're not making her homeless, she is. She could have told the cheater to leave. Original poster actually, one of my compromises I suggested when telling Anna no was to take in Catherine's hubby for a month on a purely functional abed to sleep basis but basically Catherine doesn't want to be at their shared home right now because the affair also took place there. 
Update I figured I'd be giving an update because I still get X upvotes notifications for my initial post somehow. The responses were also actually kind of helpful, so I'd also like to say thanks and share the outcome. It was reassuring that so many people agreed we weren't out of line, and we should stick with our decision. Even more helpful were the questions why we didn't turn the tables, got in front of the supposed backlash more on that later and said well, why don't you host her then? What can I say except that we're not located somewhere where everyone from your barber to your second cousin will blow up your inbox socials and call you an asshole to your face on behalf on a third party. We only heard about the criticism against us through the grapevine and we didn't really have a specific person to say well, then you take her too. But, after reading your comments, Anna got the idea to let out a WhatsApp broadcast to our shared friend group. It basically said that we're feeling very guilty because of Catherine's situation, sorry very guilty because of Catherine's situation and that it was shitty to make a promise and then take it back. But we simply realized that our lifestyle seems like it might be triggering to her in her current situation that would be uncomfortable for everyone involved. But we'd be happy to help anyone who'll take her in in whatever way we can. Cue the crickets. That was the moment we realized that maybe there were less people on Catherine's side than we initially assumed. Actually, only one couple who were friends with both Catherine and her hubby reached out to invite us to dinner apparently to share some things we weren't aware of yet. First of all, according to them the affair wasn't a carnal thing Catherine made it out to be and more of a falling out of love situation on the husband's side that has long been coming. Basically, he met someone and that made him realize that his marriage was dead. And he did the moral thing and broke up with Catherine. No one is 100% sure if there's been something physical before that but I wouldn't be surprised if that was all in Catherine's head. There's also apparently a very juicy reason why he gets to keep staying in the house but this update is long enough already. Anyways, as for the whole smear campaign lodged against us. Turns out that the whole drama apparently consisted of only three things 1. Catherine trying to pressure us and consciously or unconsciously sowing rumors that everybody is really angry with us 2. A single couple that stood on Catherine's side 3. And a lot of people hoping to not get pulled into a war of roses and just nodding politely the couple that was on Catherine's side are the friends that Catherine hit up right after us by the way. The dinner party friends theory is that they threw us under the bus and fed into Catherine's outrage because that couple has a young daughter, and we know for a fact that Catherine has just as many Karen style convictions about parenting as she has about relationship styles. Anyways, Catherine is now basically ostracized moved in with family a bit outside the city and is working remotely until she finds a condo to haunt this city from again. I also want to clarify a few things from the original post. To the people that insinuated that I pressured Anna into this relationship or keep her on a short leash given how NM dating works out for different genders, trust me when I tell you she isn't lacking options to get out of this relationship if she wanted. To the ones that criticized her for not standing up for me I consciously didn't want to include this part because I didn't want to invite judgment of Anna yeah. Hindsight is 2020, but that has been a dicey subject in our relationship. But after having Anna's explicit permission to share this here now, there's actually a lot of backstories with Catherine adopting a loner Anna into her friend group back in their school days and Anna somehow still feeling like she needed to earn her place in the friend group be grateful for Catherine. She's currently looking into going to therapy for that. Finally, I want to add a last bit of positive news coming out of this shit show. This whole fiasco made Anna and me talk through the whole someone else moving in topic. It's not really something we're going to do in the near future but Anna told me that there's one person she's currently seeing with whom she might be eventually moving into that direction. And this time she asked me early if I'd be okay with her moving in with us somewhere in the future hinge not throuple for the people that speak Polly on here. I kind of like that Catherine would probably hate that this is the outcome of her whole tantrum. But other than that, I'm really happy things are mainly back to normal now. Now for the comments. Commenter 10, oh, come on, what's the juicy reason? LOL original poster allegedly Catherine's husband was the one carrying their marriage financially and shouldering the vast majority of fixed expenses, despite both of them working and not that big of an earnings discrepancy between the two of them. So, when she wanted to kick him out, he apparently said sure, I'll let you know when you need to pay want to keep everything running. Catherine goes surprise Pikachu face at the fact divorce means paying for your own living expenses and agrees to downsize in exchange for moving out and him buying her out of the house eventually. Basically. She was living above her means somehow. No idea where her money went though.